stress of this latest surge is also taking a toll on local hospitals. Last week, 2,000 Ohioans were hospitalized. This week, we are closer to 3,000. And for health care workers, there's really no end in sight. News 5's Jesse Schultz is with us live to explain what hospitals are doing right now to get ahead of that surge. Jesse. Well, Rob, what they're doing, unfortunately, is preparing for the worst. For some Northeast Ohio hospitals, that means reducing non-essential surgeries again. For others, like university hospitals, it means readjusting their surge plans as these beds continue to fill up. That we're in a bad situation. And Dr. Amy Edwards from University Hospitals says we are on our way to a full shutdown again if things don't change. We're worse off than we were in the spring. Um, and so we need to take aggressive action or Ohioans are going to start dying in even larger numbers than they are currently. Edward says right now UH is at about 80% capacity, but says if we continue on the path we're on, it will reach its limit in a matter of weeks. We can't wait till the hospital is full to stop this because then what are you going to do if you have a stroke or a heart attack and the hospital's full? Like, where are you going to go? She's relieved Governor DeWine announced a plan to shut down bars, restaurants and gyms if things don't change and that he is shutting down common areas where people can have gatherings like weddings or baby showers. Every time we do contact tracing, every time a patient comes into the hospital and I ask them what they've been doing lately or where they think they got COVID, it is the same story every time. Oh, everything was going so well, we decided to have my niece's birthday, or we went to our cousin's house, or we had a bunch of people over for such and such. The rise in COVID cases taking a toll on the Cleveland Clinic too. The clinic announcing it would be postponing all non-essential surgeries this coming Friday and Monday. We need to make sure that we have enough uh, space in our intensive care units and in our hospital for patients not only with COVID, but with other medical illnesses that they can't predict. A way to save space. So that we can assess each and every day, each and every week, how we think the hospital is going to be filling up. Officials at both hospital systems breathing a sigh of relief after DeWine's address, but pleading for everyone to listen. I think the governor has to take responsibility. People are dying and they will continue to die. So I think he has every right to, to try to stop this. Again, the Cleveland Clinic is only postponing non-essential surgeries and only this coming Friday and Monday. They stress that they are doing this to protect their staff, the patients already in the hospital, and to make sure they can take care of any patients who may need emergencies. Reporting live in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5.